Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Guns, Nerds, and Steam. Just out here uh, sneaking around, I went to get the items that were in that box over there that we left, all the heavy items, and uh, I've already killed and harvested up one wolf. We've got one more right here that I'm going to try my luck at. There we go. Okay, I've been increasing my sneaking skill a little bit. Trying to be careful I don't want to aggro any zombies, because they'll sprint. And uh, if we look at the machete here, look at the condition on it. It's about to break. I've got this uh, pistol here with a silencer on it, but I don't get any bullets for it. So we're going to have to probably go to a pass and gas today and see if we can find some repair kits. I'm way off from being able to make them myself because I'll need a workbench. And I don't even know what the recipe will be. But while we're out here, I think we'll just keep pushing. I want to go get that airdrop. See the marker over there, 630 meters? Yeah, that's where the airdrop is. So we'll swing by there. Oh, some newspaper stands too. Might get a good book or two out of that. We will need the research data anyway, and yep, it's about to crack morning. Nothing in that one. I heard some zombies die. <laughs> I always love that. Your time on this earth has expired. Goodbye. All right, so we got one book so far. Those, th these are good. I mean, I would rather get some kind of a schematic. Damn it, no luck. I find that there's actually usually some decent loot just in garbage, so I'm trying not to pass that up. Uh, I do need sticks. Can I just get uh, some hands out here? Sticks, branches, whatever you call these. Okay. Yeah, I'll just uh, be picking flowers and picking through garbage and working my way over to the airdrop. So just meet you there. All right, and here we are. I did kill a deer along the way and I'm super duper encumbered and I'm thirsty so <laughs> really poorly prepared for this adventure. Ooh, food bundle, antibiotics, and a beaker. I suppose that, that sounds pretty good to me. Let's, well, I was tempted to open the food bundle but what do you think the chances are that'll just increase our weight? I'm gonna try it. No, that actually decreased the weight and we get a vegetable stew which will give us a little bit of water and we're like starving to death anyway. Ooh, some pumpkin pie as well. Wow, what a good find. I'll take the pumpkin pie. That's the reward for our, our massive trek out here. As for this guy, hmm, I don't know. Meat is super heavy. I guess I'll take it. 30 meat off that deer, are you kidding me? I'm so encumbered now, I can barely move. So what I'll do is I'll just go to this car right here. I already put some clay soil in there and I'll put some meat in there now. And we can just come back here at some later date. I'll mark it on the map. Ooh, do we have any good like little car icons? Oh, here's one right here. We'll just say storage there, so we'll know that we stored some things there. See, here is a basically working 4x4. You need a vehicle repair kit and you can get it running and it just like gives you a free 4x4. I imagine it is pretty difficult to craft a vehicle repair kit. And uh, from what I've seen on Twitter, Subquake, the author of this mod, plans on kind of revamping the car repair system so that you'll actually have to like bring an engine. Ooh, bicycle repairable. Requires a bicycle repair kit. Crafted in the mechanics table and not particularly difficult to do so. And I can actually craft the, the mechanics station. I have the materials to research it at least. So, you know, good to know. I'm gonna just do the quests and see if that actually gives me the free bicycle though. All right, I'm gonna search these last couple cars, then we're gonna head into Camp Razor. Goldenrod Seed, come on, man, get out of here. Yeah, we gotta turn in that quest. We gotta give Maxton his kebabs that we got for him. Ooh, a free little piece of loot over there. And then we'll kind of come up with a plan for the rest of the day. Wow, look at the lead over here. That's crazy. All right, nothing special in there. Stone powder, I wonder what that's for. All right, so I'll uh, meet you guys over at, with Sergeant Maxton and Captain Allen. Good morning, ma'am. All right, what do you got for me? I got Maxon's kebabs here. Uh, 10 mil. What is it with the 10 mil? Okay, so in that case, I definitely have to take the batter up book, which gives me college jackets. Baseball hats and letter jackets. Okay, definitely take that and just take a break here because I need to see what it's gonna take to craft that. Probably a tailoring workstation. Letter jacket in the tailor station. Oh boy, I'm gonna read it so I can craft it because you know It might take a long time to find it otherwise and we'll just have to try and get a tailor station going here in the next Like this week, maybe Okay, fair enough. All right, let's get a new job for the day. What do we have for us today? Dunkin Donuts 
What do you guys need extra coffee around here or espresso yourself? Oh, these guys are hard up for some coffee. Well, we can't have that. Let's okay. do the espresso yourself. I accept. The Order of Steel needs caffeine. I do have some dukes on me and I was going to see, are either of you selling repair kits? And if so, no, she doesn't have any. What about these band? Ooh, mini bike. Oh, it is day five. So everyone has restocked. We do need to check the inventory then. There is a wrench. 900 dukes. Well, that's good to know, I suppose. Oh, they, everything's very, very expensive in this mod. Okay, and ooh, fish tacos, yummy. Ooh, those are relatively cheap. Kind of surprising, I guess. What about bacon and eggs? What? Bacon and eggs, 205. Fish tacos, 57. I don't understand. Bandage is not too bad either. See you soon. What about you, Maxton? What do you got for me today, buddy? Mm, he's got some decent things. Scrap shotguns probably being the most, like, realistic, relatively affordable thing. AK-47, close second. Okay, well, nothing that we can afford right now anyway. All right, let's head home. Okay, everything's put away. I'm fed and hydrated. Uh, what are we doing here? Oh, right. I believe I can do the artisan table now, so we can research that. I had to pick up those clay bricks last night, and I might need more clay bricks in order to actually build the forge. We'll have to find out. It doesn't actually show you the recipe for the furnace until you've actually researched it. Never mind. It's definitely showing me that. I need more large stones. Well, I can work on that in the meantime, then. Hey, new stone pickaxe, nice, and a potato seed. Yep, all right, let's head back and get the furnace crafted. Okay, there's our schematic for the artisan table. Right, so this will actually tell us what it takes to make the artisan table. See, right now it's unlearned. This is what I was trying to demonstrate earlier, but we don't know the ingredients yet, but we have the schematic so we can then read that. And it tells me that in fact, we just need some, uh... oh no, in fact, we have everything that we need. And it's crafted in the backpack, so we can start that up. Wow, making big progress today. And then after that, we can craft the furnace from the artisan table. Oh, okay, so I've done things in uh, out of order, and yet by luck, things have actually worked out. Okay, it's, it's gonna work. I, I try to pretend that I know what I'm doing, but oftentimes I'm just kind of winging it. There we go. And in here, we can craft now a furnace. Craft. Oh, <gasps> stone sledgehammer. Oh, okay, so this is going to allow us to craft ooh, seeds. Seeds are nice. Uh, stone variable helper shape, so just stone blocks, I guess. Farm plot, dirt. Man, I was kind of expecting to get like um, cobblestone and concrete shapes. Ooh, mortar and pestle. Grinding things into powder. Wow, it's very, very interesting. I can't wait to kind of figure all of this out. Okay, there's the furnace. What does the furnace need? Of course it needs some like bellows and things like that. And that is gonna ha help us craft ingots. And then I think you need the blacksmith station to craft ingots into plates. And then for example, to get like the steel machete, I will need steel plating. So we're not quite as far along as I would like. Oh, in fact though, instead of using a repair kit to craft, uh, to fix the machete, I suppose I could just craft a new machete, or two, you know, for that matter. And in fact, I think I will just get a couple rolling. Repair kit's much more valuable to me at this point, and it kind of makes sense that, you know, sometimes just replacing an item is easier than uh, fixing it, right, in real life? So, yeah. Okay, good enough. Unfortunately, I cannot craft a new gun. Oh, hey, I have some 9 mil I picked up somewhere. Oh, that is a smooth animation. I liked that. Uh, kind of not a good sight on it because the silencer is covering the front sight post, but we'll work with it. It's okay. Oh, there's this uh, thing right here. So let's see. This stone pickaxe is an H class doing 10.3 damage. This stone pickaxe is a G class doing 11.8 damage. I see, I see. Okay, so we want, the next class that we need is like the silver class. In fact, the badger is this uh, G class. Uh, so is it is it like A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H? Is that the, the convention here? I think it is. So yeah, we're just kind of moving up the alphabet to get to A class. Ah, and so yeah, same thing with the claw hammer here. Okay, yeah, uh, forgive me, I've never played a game that had this sort of A, B, C, D, I mean, I've heard of like S class and stuff like that, but you know, this is seemingly a little bit different, which is, you know, cool. I like it. 
All right, I'm going to go fetch some water and start boiling water for the day. And then uh, we can make some boiled meat after that. And then I will meet you over at the coffee shop. Just just right outside there. All right, so I'll be there in just a minute. Wait a minute. Can I not fill up water jug from a pool now? Or am I doing this wrong? Oh boy, that, does that, has things, have things been changed that much that I can't get water out of water? I mean, I get it, this this would be maybe chlorinated water, and that's not safe to drink, but, you know, should I try the lake over there? I don't, no, that can't make any difference. Lots of beer barrels here. Turn the helmet light on, I keep forgetting to do that. Yeah, I can get some beer. I think now that perhaps the only way to get water is from a water barrel, which, uh, that, that increases the difficulty a lot. Maybe I should read the journal. No, it seems to indicate that you can get it from any water source, including like a lake. So using the secondary action, that's right click, just like default. What, what am I doing wrong here? I don't know. Maybe I got to get in the water. <laughs> oh boy, this is not good. Oh, gee, am I going to have to check the discord or what? Ah, give me a minute. Okay, I'm back, and I read on the Discord that indeed it is intended that you cannot get water from lakes or pools. Not sure how I feel about that. It does make sense. Okay, so we'll pretend that that's salinated water in the ocean, and we'll pretend that this is chlorinated, nasty-ass pool water. So yeah, we don't want to drink that anyway. I I'm gonna go with toilet water instead. Okay, so the mission will be just to have jars on us. There's plenty of water everywhere. I just need to... Um, kind of get in the habit of getting it wherever I can. So we'll just have jars in the inventory. We'll put the bottles away. And uh, are you all done? You're done, turn that off. And oh, look at all the water that we actually have anyway. Okay, so we can just um, make up some boiled meat then. Bunch down those bacon and eggs. We are ready to roll out. Ooh, okay, we got sleepers here already on the outside. I think I've already killed a couple just kind of wandering through here, but they're gonna respawn, so might as well just kill them once and kill them when I respawn them right now. All right, I did a perimeter sweep and we are all clear. Maybe just carefully work our way in here so we don't get ambushed. Never know what you're gonna find. Could be dogs, or could just be Steve right here. Thomas. Maybe one more here. The supply satchel is in this, I think there's a room over here. Yeah. Oh, locked door. Uh, I, I got some bobby pins we can try. Got it. In the main loot room with Karen. Ow. All right, we'll get the coffee here for the order. And yeah, I don't have any like looting goggles or anything. I just have to kind of pause and think, am I ready to loot? Ooh, okay, semi-trigger group. Uh, that'd be good for a pistol or something. Come on, something good, something good. Uh, nah, not the best. Backup pair of scrap gloves, I guess. Yeah, a little bit of food. Otherwise, nada. What does that go to? Oh, the rooftop. Hmm, interesting. Still probably not gonna be able to open this because I don't have a high enough lock picking. So when I used the, what was it? The jailbreaker candy, what happened was is it increases your lock picking up to 100 for 10 minutes. And that way it's a lot easier to pick the lock. So I think I picked like all four locks uh, that we did yesterday with like maybe one lock pick. So, you know, that's pretty cool. I like that. It's not like, you know, guaranteed success. You still gotta do it, but ah, ah, birds. Oh crap, gotta sprain a leg doing that crap. Run! I got one shot in. Hide! Hide in Glock's taco van. Ah! All right, ready to fight again. Come here! Ah, oh, got him. Damn it, Steve. Am I bleeding? No, I'm not bleeding. Jeez, wow, close call. Oh my goodness, look at all the zombies out there. That's gotta be a horde. It's got to be a horde running through here. Well, we gotta work on the action skills anyway, so let's get to it.
Ah, too easy. Getting good at this. I wonder. Ha <laughs> ha! I take the lights. Oh god, crosswalk lights. Those can't be worth anything. 31? Well, so 15 apiece then. Nice. What about a fuse box? N oh, yes, I can take that. What's that worth? Eight. All right. Well, let's see if we can get any water out of here before we call it a night. Oh, Mega Crush poster. Give me that. Yes. Oh, see, I just pulled a coffee straight out of that. Nice. So I'll be bringing back all kinds of coffee supplies. That should keep everyone in the order happy, at least temporarily. Don't want to be there when the caffeine runs out. That's for sure. All right, that ought to do it. Uh, let's go back to see Sergeant Maxon and Captain Ellen and uh, get another quest for first thing tomorrow morning. And then I think we'll just have a quiet night of just trying to get things organized and crafted. All right, you guys, I've got the copy. Don't worry, I'll just like, you know, set it over here for you guys. What do you got for me though? Hmm, yeah, I definitely don't need to <laughs> craft jeans, shirts, and overalls, and that research data would be nice as much as I would love, love, love to get those Molotovs. More important to get the research data at this stage. And a job for tomorrow. We've got buried supplies. I don't know why you guys would bury your supplies. There's not like there's anyone else to steal them. But anyway, buried supplies sounds like kind of a terrible idea because I don't have good tools, but... It would make for a good early morning activity, I think, so I'm going to go ahead and take this. As you wish. And then we'll do a bit of an inventory sell-off to fund fundraise. Good. All right, and I did level up in the process there. How much time we got left? What time is it? Uh, 28 o'clock, so... Mm, let's see. I think there were some water barrels here that I want to look for. Yes, here's a couple here. Oh, nothing in it, though. A little bit of water here and there. All right, I've pulled all the water out that I possibly can and found a couple other things along the way, but we'll head back to the base and start getting organized. Okay, I have everything put away and relatively organized. The food situation's better. There's zombies downstairs, but they cannot get to me. They're just content to bang on stuff down there, and that's fine with me. So here's all the prepared food and drinks that we have. Here are some ingredients that we have to be cooked and another backup storage container for more stuff in the future. Over here, we're collecting seeds and some more bottles. And otherwise, we're looking pretty good. I want to see about getting some more frames crafted. And I think I'm just going to spend some time and chill tonight. I think we it's, it's safe. We can relax and sort of get a plan going for tomorrow and see how much we can advance in the night. All right, so you all can get some rest and I'll take first watch. All right. Well, good morning, everyone. And it's been a pretty busy night, but fruitful. A whole bunch of zombies downstairs. Can't wait to see how many and where they all freaking came from. So what I was just doing right now is organizing the cell chest. This would be the cell chest. See, every time I open a main loot, I think the main loots I've seen in the game files before, they have a much higher noise with opening than do other containers. So learning my lesson for selecting these for storage, they do have pretty good storage though. I mean, you can't deny it. Um, so just getting the kit organized, I had to replace the scrap iron axe with the stone axe. But what I should be able to do right now is, oh, I used all the branches to make arrows. Okay, I need to go get some uh, branches and then we can make the maintenance station. I also, what I did was craft up these ingot molds and brick molds, which allows us to craft clay bricks. So, you know, you can just like get a couple of these crafted. I don't know that we need them right now, but good to know. And then the ingot mold, if you just swap them out uh, and then reload, that should allow us to make uh, iron ingots and stuff like that. I think that's all going to be used in the blacksmith workstation at some point. So, right, we need to go chop down at least a couple of trees, and I need to grab the seeds so I can replant them after. All right, y'all making a mess down here or what? How many of them? Oh, dude, that's a lot. Wow, never a dull moment here with Undead Legacy. Ow! Okay. Good way to get the blood pumping in the morning. All right, sticks. All right, there we go. Maintenance workstation. Craft that. Put everything away. 
All right, there she is. Let's see how this works here. Okay, so I have to put the item in to repair. That's gonna cost, oh, much cheaper to, to, to repair it than if I were to use a primitive repair kit. Am I gonna lose the mod doing this or was that just a Darkness Falls thing? Let's check here. Oh, that'll go up to a G class. It will require a bit more stone. Ooh, 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 okay. Let's go get some stone then because I will definitely be wanting to upgrade my shovel before we go do that dig quest today, for sure. Let's go get stone. Okay, let's see there. Well, first, oh, do I need to maybe? Yeah, see, if I'm standing here, I don't have the plant fiber. If I'm standing here, I have the plant fiber because the the broadcast radius is to the player, I have learned. So if I just stand kind of in the middle of my house, I have access to all of my, my gear that's in storage. So repair first and then... Oh, upgrade chance. There is a chance to do this. So we'll do one. And now we have a 95% chance and it's gonna cost research data to get it up to F class. So I really don't wanna use research data on silly stuff like, you know, stone tools. Okay, that worked. 95% chance to do it again, although this again is gonna require research data. Not really feeling that. Perhaps what I can do is if I take the rad remover off, but I leave the dye on and I go to repair it now. Ooh, I need I need more scrap iron to do that. Uh, we're gonna have to do some mining. I can repair it cheaply though now. So I can actually just go sell the other machete. Yeah, and that, you know, it didn't, didn't remove the dye. I'm not sure about the mod though. So, you know, we'll continue experimenting until we figure that out one way or the other. What about the bow? Can I repair the bow? Gonna require a new bowstring, some scrap iron. Upgrading, however, insufficient station level. We'll need to upgrade the station. In order to do, to do that, it's going to require a ton of stuff. So we're not even close to being ready for that. What about upgrading things like the artisan table? Also, just research data, research data for days. Yep, okay, let's go dig. Let's not actually yet, let's spend the skill point because I think I was gonna take one into minor 69er just to kind of help out a little bit. We only have one point anyway. I'll bring some coffee, coffee, coffee with me and probably should bring some food or at least eat some food so I can get that max stamina bonus. I'll bring it with me and I will save it for before I start. Ooh, four. Three boar. Ooh, I think I'll mark that on the map just so I don't forget about it. What's a good boar sign? How about the, the food sign here? Boar. All right. Okay, here we are. <laughs> the marker is like basically in this tree here. Let's hit the quest and I'm gonna Chop this tree down because it's gonna, you know, hamper visibility. All right, it might not seem like the best use of time to sit here digging for probably what will become half the day, but we do need the clay anyway. Bacon and eggs in, coffee in, let's dig. Oh boy, I'm such an idiot. I just, I was gonna walk back here because I heard zombies and yeah, I started fighting them and I walked away from the friggin' supplies. Oh, well, whatever. I didn't feel like digging anyway. All right, well, I make rookie mistakes once in a while. It's okay. I wonder if this was a horde though. I mean, there is a biker here, so yeah, it could have been something dangerous. I'm glad I did come up here to check. Yeah, see, the shovel was broken anyway, now that I think about it, and that means that we wouldn't have been able to dig. So if we do another dig quest in the future, it, it's going to mean either having a better shovel or bringing more shovels or even like maybe bringing the maintenance station with me. It seems like a lot, but, you know, it's it seems like that's like how it would have to go, I guess. Well, anyway, those buried supplies will have to remain buried and we'll have to go back and report our mission a failure to Captain Ellen and Sergeant Maxton. Hopefully they're not too mad. 
Oh, sorry guys. So about that buried supply, mm, I lost it. However, I do have some supplies that I've been scavenging that I would like to sell you. Okay, just like that, we're up to 5,500 dukes. These fish tacos, they're just, they're calling my name. I can't, I can't pass them up anymore. A new job. Let's see here. How about the small little tattoo shop? Go for it. I'll do that. All right. All right, so Sergeant Maxton wants us to secure this area. Part of our larger quest of like securing the entire city here for operations. One small building at a time, and that's a crack book over there. I might take a little peek in there. That's the Valentine's shop that we keep seeing, which looks kind of fun. But for now, we're here for the tattoo shop. Ooh, vending machine in there too. Um, a lot of zombies in there. Here, just let these couple come out if they would like to. Yeah, we're gonna have to get our stealth on for this one here. Try not to leave the boundary this time. Oh, that was, that was it. Uh, I did like do a little double take in my mind. Yeah, that appears to be all of the zombies that count for the quest. We'll take care of the rest of these. Okay, that, I would imagine that was it. That was a lot of zombies for this little tiny place all in one spot and all very, very tired. Well, while we're here, might as well check for supplies. You never know what we might find. Ooh, good batch of medical supplies, which makes sense for a tattoo shop, right? Yeah, wanna be nice and clean and sterile when you're getting tattoos. Don't wanna get like hepatitis or like a staph infection or something. What is this? Armor isn't good if the arrow can't pierce it. Learn how to craft steel arrows and bolts. Can I craft those already? Yeah, so I'll want to learn that, although that would be crafted in the ballistics table, which probably needs to be coming up soon. We're going to need guns sooner than later. Speaking of guns, oh, please have a gun in here. Something good. Another duckbill mod. Ooh, that's a working vending machine. We'll be marking that on the map immediately. Ooh, robotic sledge. You know, I'd really rather find one of those than craft one, so just scrap it. I'm kind of hoping, I, I haven't been keeping track, but I do want to get the bicycle once and for all. Get the, the seventh quest done. I'm not sure even where we are. Do we need one more or are we good? I haven't been keeping track. I do really, really need scrap iron, so I'm not passing this stuff up here. Now I just counted the quests. This will be number six and then we'll have to, I'm going to do one more tonight. Hell or high water, we're doing one more tonight. I said hell or high water, I said nothing about hunger. Let's go get some food. Okay, I'm back. What do you got for me? How can I Cooling help? mesh, batter up. Take the batter up so I can scrap it. Any more jobs? We've got the... The closest one is going to be the Valentine shop, so let's grab awesome. that. All right, meet you there. All right, here we are. Libby's gift shop. We got to pick up some chocolate for Captain Ellen. Let's hit the quest. We are definitely running low on time. Let's do stealth as much as we can, but low threshold to just get the supplies and run. Bird! Okay, lights out. Super... Whoa! My god, in the butt! Oh shit, I woke everyone up! Damn it! I shot the glass. That was the worst thing ever. But we gotta fight. We gotta fight fast. Got another bird. Look out. Just get the gun for him. Oh, I'm not loaded. Shit. When did that get unloaded? Oh, crap. Dead. 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 Whoa. All right. We're good. Oh boy, this is getting bad. Oh, zombies below, zombies above. And I'm trapped. Ow, oh crap. Oh no, I'm trapped again. Ow, okay, uh, painkiller. I was having a hard time. I was bumping my head on the freaking door frame. That's why I couldn't get out. Just two hours until nightfall. Oh, hey, munitions box. 
buy kind of Valentine's shop here. Yet again, more 10 mil as well. Something in here, good. Ooh, four grip, shotgun parts. Oh, the satchel, nice. Be like, oh, there it is. I was gonna say, there should be a main loot here somewhere and I found it. Grab and just a couple first aid bandages for my trouble. Okay, this place is done. And if we hustle, I think we can make it back to the trader in time to get our bicycle. Oh, I made it. You okay. I got your so chocolate. Ooh, flaming arrows or binding book. Of course, mining book. And that'll be for black strap coffee. Nice. And bicycle parts bundle. Oh, come on. Come, come on, man. I better be able to make that without a workbench. Give me that. Damn it. Special jobs. Trade route to the north. Ooh, we've got to link up. Damn it. Well, anyway, gotta expand the network, and you do not have tier two jobs, so we'll be back in the morning for that. All right, let's get out of here before we are officially trespassing and they put us in the brig. Nightfall is upon us, and the nighttime zombies are spawning in all around. Super thirsty and super infected. Should be good now, though. And Art of Mining. We will read that for the Blackstrap Coffee, and we'll open up this. Okay, so that gave me... The bicycle frame schematic, which I, I won't need because I already have the frame or the chassis, so I can scrap that safely, I believe. Bicycle handlebars, I guess I will need, and I'll also need bicycle wheels. So, crap, this is going to be a lot more difficult than I was expecting. That will have to be the quest for tomorrow, as well as figuring out a horde base situation. I think we'll fight the horde right out here somewhere. Nice and solid foundation. And we already have a little bit of a bar coverage here for visibility and to keep birds out. But anyway, my friends and fellow survivors, I think we can call it a night. And tomorrow we continue to forge our legacy. We are the tip of the spear, raiders in the night, avengers for all mankind. We are the Order of Steel. While you're waiting for the next video, check out some of the content on the end screen here. But if you just can't wait to see what happens next, jump on my Patreon and see if early access is right for you. Huge thank you to those of you who continue to support the growth and development of this channel. You all are the true nerds of steel. Anyway, my name is Temreki, and I hope this episode has earned your subscription, and that I'll see you in the next one. But until then, I wish you all the very best. Thank you for watching, and goodbye.